uh, is a multi-talented, multi-dimensional spiritual being and experiencing his, you know, different experience in different dimensions. As we live in three dimensions, sometimes we go to the dream, some, sometimes we go to the different dimension, right? And, 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 un and conscious to unconscious level, we travel. So here it is, Katharina comes from a Swedish, li listen to me, Swedish, Dutch, Scottish, German family, and born in Switzerland. Can you count it? Swedish, Dutch, Scottish, German family, and born in Switzerland. Yes, that's not the end. And then he lived his life in Salzburg. Who can tell me where the Salzburg is? This is another country. Who can tell me? Yes, quickly, don't Austria. Google it. Austria. Austria, yes. You get a gift tonight from Katharina. Yes, we'll, we are going to give you a gift. Who is this? Who is this? You know, one signature Rob. courses, uh, which is 45 euro, you'll get it free access. All right, you get a gift. Yes, Salzburg. He Thank lived you. His, he, she lived her life in Salzburg, Austria. She was a famous designer, uh, famous designer. Yes, you heard it correct. She did her design shows in Switzerland to New York, and she was really famous in her designing. Very exclusive, not really ordinary. You know, not Marcus Spencer, not really, you know, Pierre Cardian or this very exclusive fashion designer. And she turned into an energy coach, healer, speaker, author, and the fashion designer identity she let go. And then she wanted to find her soul, her purpose, her passion. She thought, what if I let go everything and embrace the new challenges and seek the truth, the ultimate divine truth, where it takes through. And that's how that's the next truth is she is now living in Indonesia, Bali, last about a year. So you had another dimension of life, right? So ladies and gentlemen, please put me, put your hands together to welcome Katharina Kais back tonight for you, right? To share her. So Thank you. <laughs> Katharina, so you got now welcome. I have to welcome you. I believe I did a little bit justice about you. And uh, uh, I'm sure people are wondering who is this lady? Where does it come from? What she will do? What you want to tell us? No, nothing about this, right? So she's very passionate about what she does. Yes, Katrina, why your life evolved so much so? Yes, so um, actually, you know, it, um, I was always searching in life for what are the key points to be really successful, the real key points. And I have gone a wonderful, huge range of different things because I made actually my ideas into reality and I created from my mind into reality of fashion, what was weared by famous people around the world. And I had incredible famous people from around the world who were coming by their private flight to my shop, to my um, um, company, to my atelier, to buy very exclusive fashion. And everything I created from, in the beginning, nothing. So I knew, so, so I know how to create things from nothing into a huge reality. And mm. in this whole way, I did this 15 and a half years. It was clear inside of me, when I reached everything I wanted to reach, I did a fashion, like fashion shows in New York, like Cannes during the film festival. I made perfume, I made shoe collection. I had, yeah, a lot of things. It was, you know, I was in the, I was famous. I was every time in the newspaper, I was in television and everybody knew me on the street in every case in the city where I was in. And 
it was clear this is not what I really search. <laughs> and I came to the point that whenever, because inside of me, there was coming up something, what I call my inner voice from inside my heart was knowing exactly what I really have to do and what is really my purpose. And I started more and more from being someone to listening what is really me. Hmm. And from this on, I started a journey actually already since 2006, more and more in between the other, turning to what I do today, to leave everything I'm not 100% or I'm not, and to be exactly and only what I really love and do only what I really love. And today is, I have an online school, I'm an um, energy coach and an author, and I'm helping people around the world to con reconnect to who they really are, to their real power from within. Amazing. So the real power from within, you know, that is, that is something really magic. And yet something is unbelievable, right? And uh, a lot of us, we really don't believe that we have the magical power and which is inside. If there is anybody believe it, this real core power, say I, or write down yes. Do you believe that you have your, your basic power, innate power, you know, the amazing power, everything is within, is waiting, waiting and waiting to listen from you. Do you believe so? Do you believe so? Say yes, say I, right? So let's see, amazing tribe, amazing, amazing. Yes, because this is it's really not easy to listen to heart, right? This is something listening to the heart, listening to the intuition, listening to the you know, inner voice and, and be guided. So tell us through, right? And audience also, you can ask question too, definitely. And we're open to receive your question and respond accordingly. So raise your hand or also comment here. I'm going to ask some question on behalf of you and then Catherine are going to reveal and then you're going to ask as well. So Catherine, you had a special, I mean, uh, uh, illustrious career, right? A lot of us, we really want to like be famous, uh, be glorified, travel across the world, settle in, you know, in, in European countries, and be in Europe and, and uh, be there, uh, personified, personified those kind of images, right? Luxury, their places, you know, these things. And you abandoned that life, abandoned, left it forever, right? And uh, why? We are running for that and you left it behind and now living in Bali. So why? Why when it happened? When you are there, hmm. when you are there, when you reach this all, you come to a point where you see you can't reach what you are searching outside. You can be the president of a country, you can be whatever you want. When you be this, you will see this is not the point in life. It's not about being famous. It's not about having a lot of money. It's not about something outside traveling the world. It isn't something about outside. It is, there's only one thing. I reached it. I reached this point. I'm living it nearly two, already two years completely. There is one point what really matters. And this is that you are who you are, that you do what you really love, and that you are just exactly with this on the path where you're supposed to be right now, because we are bigger, actually much bigger than we see this human in a body here. Mm. And we came with a certain kind of 
thing into this world as a being. And when we live what we're supposed to do, what we wanted, what is our life purpose from inside, we are really deeply fulfilled. And you can reach this by feeling what is really exciting you, but not by your mind, because you can be excited because you think when you are famous, rich, and you have this all then, and you live in Europe or where, wherever, or in America or whatever, then you have it all, what you really want to have. Never, no. You don't have it there. You have to feel what is it actually without a result, what really excites you? What is it what makes you really deeply fulfilled and happy whenever you're doing it? And it is actually not at all dependent on what society is telling you. It doesn't matter what everybody around you is telling you, if this is good or bad, because we are at an edge in history where there will be a huge split on this planet. And it will go in two completely different direction. And the split has to do with, are you following your mind or are you following what you came here to do? Correct. Amazing. So this actually freaks me out. Uh, and as you said uh, rightly, uh, it's not seeing, it's feeling, right? And feeling is, uh, it comes from heart, right? Feeling resonates from the heart. And mind sees it at, in, in advance and heart resonates the feeling and the vibration and then the body mind calibrates and is in this, uh, you know, emerge the signal and communicates and connects. And that's the universe in how it communicates and how it connects. That's amazing, wonderful. But the thing is, uh, it's really difficult. That's why I said it's freaking me out, right? You know, leaving my comfort zone and embracing the what I don't know and let go, you know, the materials, uh, those known things, and then accept, you know, merely unknown thing, right? What I don't. And that's a challenge, right? It's a challenge. And in between this challenge, we, this is called something fear, right? And, and I define fear as a false emotion appearing real, engulfing us and really killing us. What do you think about how to deal with this? Which separates the beingness, as you said, and then beingness is like not knowing, not doing even, is beingness, is experiencing this. And that's the, the the demarcation factor in between this bigness and the knowing versus doing is the, the fine thin line, which is the fear. How do you define it? So you have to manage fear if you reach also to be famous in the world. Okay. Yep. <laughs> fear is everything always before everything there is what you want to do where and in whatever kind of direction and so i have had many 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 opportunities to deal with fear to learn about fear to really handle fear and to be nearly fearlessless today mm. and i can say i only could go this way because I knew how to deal with fear. And basically, when you look at fear, it is fake. Yeah, it Every is. fear is fake. And fear are completely connected to your mind. Emotions. You know, but they are connected. The fears are connected to your mind. Correct. Your mind is telling you something about something that could maybe happen, but it isn't. So it's hmm. something completely tricky. 
So you can say, if in the moment when you have a situation and where you are having fear, you can be sure this is maybe something you have to do. <laughs> You're okay, you have also to have a little bit of guideline because it's not a question to jump out of the airplane or uh, somewhere into a river or whatever. You know, not something dangerous. But the fear we are talking here about is fear about being seen, fear about living your life purpose, um, leaving your comfort zone. And the wonderful thing is what I can give you right now as a tool, a first tool, how you can um, start to interact with fear, to play with it, to start getting a new feeling about it, is when you step into a situation where you have a lot of fear, start looking what is your body doing. And when you are in the middle of fear and look for a situation that makes you really fearful, then you see that you get like shaking the whole body, <laughs> sweating. Then you see like all kinds, maybe, uh, yeah, all kinds of things are coming up. But if you are watching you in this time in your body, you will see that fear quite quick disappears. And then you can start going on. This is incredible. Great, great. So can you, can you uh, give us a, an example that, you know, how you tackled, right? Uh, when you thought about leaving all your known dynasty, like being a famous, uh, famous designer, you know, traveling across and being into that place, that zone, right? And, uh, uh, when you thought first, okay, I am going to leave it and, and uh, close this and come into an unknown territory where you are right now in uh, Indonesia, Bali, right? Uh, so what happened exactly in your mind and how did you overcome that? This is the real thing you did, right? Yeah, but there I wasn't so fearful anymore. Okay. So, so what came out in your mind first when you thought, okay, I'm going to leave uh, Austria uh, this beautiful country, cities, uh, luxury, and then uh, going to uh, in Asia. So what was that and how did you find these? So to journey? stop my fashion company, I got two big signs in my life. One big sign was I got very sick with rheumatism. And I have overcome this sickness without medication. This was one thing. And the other thing, our daughter died through an accident. And this was exactly two years ago. And after the funeral, my husband and I heard independent from inside, now's the time to close the company down and actually go with a one-way ticket to Bali. And we didn't know Bali. And we needed two weeks to digest this huge step. And I have learned to trust myself and that I am only bliss, blissed when I'm trusting myself. So we did, mm. after two weeks, we went out. It was just, there was the biggest article about me, like a queen, just coming out in a magazine. And I was, it was just coming out and I was talking and I was ringing with the phone, the um, journalist, and I was saying, you know what? The whole fashion thing is over. We are leaving this country. We will close down everything and we go to Bali. And so some days later, there was a new, completely different article about our story in the newspaper. And actually, because I was able to leave everything, and I learned it because I had a wonderful white horse. And this white horse were teaching me, leave the things when they are at the peak. So what's that white horse to you? Hmm? What was that white horse? 
it uh, it the, I was also guided to have this white horse. This was my own white horse. It was a is is a famous Austrian um, Lipizaner, and she was a wonderful horse. I had not only to leave my country; I had also to sell this horse after the death of our daughter. Like it was letting go, letting go, letting go in a huge way. But we trusted. And it was like, um, it was unbelievable what I watched the next two months because we were saying, okay, we have two months until we finish. And people were coming from all over the world to have the last chance to buy as much as possible. And then end of August in 2019, we closed the company and we sold and sold and sold huge amounts. And we sold all because we had our own production and everything. We sold everything. And we got on the plane on, uh, at the end of October and came 1st November 2019 here in Bali. And when the plane entered Bali and, and came to the ground, tears were coming out of my eyes because I felt the energy of Bali and what I didn't know. And I knew I'm, I'm home. This is my new home. It was incredible. And that I was able to let go of everything and to be truly me and do what I feel I have to do. This was giving me so much bliss. It's incredible and from there on i just knew what i have to do and everything is just incredible in an incredible beautiful way there's no way on the other way if you look outside to find it outside the only way really and i lived it everything single thing through is to follow what you love most really by your heart Whatever Amazing. it is, there is no very good and bad. There is no good and bad. There is only what do you love? What do you not love? Because in the moment when you're doing what you love, you are who you are. You are connected with who you are and you're doing the right thing at the right moment. This is very important. And this is very important in this time where we are now because there is no possibility to not be you. You will shortly know what I'm talking about. Correct. So thank you for sharing. So that's uh, the open up stories. That's the realities and real life. I mean, uh, how to embrace this. Now I'm requesting our audience to open up the question and uh, please ask directly. And would love to have one of you to have, you know, how to overcome the fear coaching, you know, direct conversation so that we can talk to you a real case, right? How that could be, Katharina. So if we yes. can invite one person and to address his or her fear and like uh, what it looks like, the energy coaching and things like this and how to overcome this. Uh, we want to open for one person so can experience that. Before that question, yes, audience. So please feel free to raise your hand and ask your question, real question, whatever you want, because this is something very deep, right? How to let go, how to embrace, and how to listen to heart and mind and and, and jump into that, right? It's not easy, right? It's not easy. And, 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 and it takes a lot of courage, a lot of confidence. And it says, trusting it will, uh, trusting that it will work. So your question, please. Who wants to ask question? You can write down question two. Also, you can ask question directly. Hello. Yes, yeah. please. Hello. So this is Fatan Azmul Islam. Uh, so my question is, uh, what is the biggest challenge we face when we try to overcome uh, our fear? What is the biggest challenge, right? right. Yes, Katharina. What's the biggest challenge you face? 
So uh, the point is you will just, when you step into fear, you will see it's fake. It's just going away. So uh, when you, <laughs> so it's all before. So your mind makes yourself crazy before a situation, before the, you know, and when you are stepping into the fear, so you do it anyway, you know, if your mind is telling you it's un, you can't do this because you watch this and this, you, this and this will happen and you don't listen to it. Do you just do it anyway? What you will see is that the fear quite quick will disappear and that a new path will open up for you. And when how more you are doing this, how more you will see that you don't care about fear anymore because <laughs> it's anyway fake. It's just fake. It's only actually, I tell you something, why this fear is. The fear is connected to the mind and the mind is actually holding us away from our power. When we are doing what we really love and we don't care about fear, we just do it anyway. We step into our power. There's no challenge. There's only help. And you get in once when you are, if you ask yourself, how much has fear cost you from your life? Then you will see most of the things. And when you are, understanding that this is actually something planted inside of you to hold you small, fear your mind, and you just push this aside and don't care about it, what your mind is telling you, you do it anyway. You just see it's disappearing. It's only fake. I hope I answered your question. Thank you. So we got... Yeah, we got several questions too. What are the ways we can follow to remove fears? Uh, anything, any particular way that you follow to remove fear? What, to remove fear, what we can do? What was what, the question? What are the, what are the ways we can the follow ways right, to remove follow, fear? To remove fear. Yeah, so the first thing is really to, um, um, you know, you have to just start go into it and watch what happens with you. And you will see, you get all these crazy feelings. And when you watch these feelings, they are disappearing. So you just have to do this and just make a playful experience with it. And from this on, you will start seeing, okay, this is incredible. This is one thing, and there are other tools as well. Maybe later I can give you a other tool as well. But this is sure. the first and foremost tool you can do. Right. And then looking for things that you would like to do, but where you have fear, and then starting to play with yourself, doing it, and seeing, oh, it's not bad. <laughs> Actually, it's very good. Because fear is also holding you wet, uh, away from living really uh, joyful and powerful and really happy. Hmm. Great. Uh, and I, give, I maybe give an example here Please. out of my own light, life. So um, what makes me famous was when I had my first fashion show in New York. So I was half, if you would have told me half a year before my fashion show, it was in, in December 2015, I would have a fashion show half a year later in New York alone. I would have told you, you are crazy. Because I had fear about flying completely. I was very fearful about flying. And having a fashion show alone in New York was, it was for my mind much too much. And in the same year, in September, a friend of mine took me to New York 
And because I didn't want it that he knows that I'm fearful about flying, I canceled this fear out of my life. I just canceled it. I was saying, I don't, I'm, I'm embracing flying. And I did it. And from this moment on, I had never fear anymore. And four weeks before I had the fashion show in New York, I got an invitation to have a fashion show in New York. My mind was saying, you are crazy. It is not possible to get the fashion from Austria to America because America is very strict about fashion. Inside, I knew, yes, I have to do it. So this was huge fear. And I just did it. And when I decided to do it, what happens was the opposite of what you will think. Life was helping me in all ways. I, I got from everywhere help, from New York, from my city, from people <clears throat> who have to, to do with the businesses so that I could get my fashion in this quick time to New York. And everything went, even the models were just like coming from Holland, paying their own money. They just wanted to be for my show there. Incredible things happened because I say yes to a situation what wasn't possible. And I went to New York and I had the fashion show. It was everything amazing. And I went alone by, by the airplane to New York and had the fashion show. Something I never could imagine that this would be possible. And I had no problem at all. It was just incredible. So this gives an example. And I had like one example is also coming up in me. It was already earlier because it's also necessary to know that fear, you know, how more you overcome fear, how easier it gets. 2008 I was invited as a fashion designer for a um, TV series in Germany. And I didn't have to do with TV before. And so in once I was uh, playing in a TV film as a fashion designer. And actually in this time, it was always already difficult for me to have a, a fashion show because I didn't like to speak up. And now I was for in front of millions of people with this um, TV series. And I had one week terrifying fear every day and night. I was shaking every day and night, every day and night, every day, one week shaking for fear. But I did it anyway. And I reached a point inside of me where I knew now I know what I have to do. And I started the first day in front of the camera and they couldn't believe because they could do what they want. I was not able to get out of the flow because <laughs> somehow I reached a point from such a stability inside of me because I just went through all this fear that nothing could happen to me anymore and it was right. incredible incredible to see so it's going into it anyway from this mm. moment on there starts a journey you can't experience before it before you go you have right. to go Catherine. you just have to go inside of it that's right so this is right this is true you know for audience like we want to demonstrate if somebody wants to you know, come up and share what's your real fear in life, right? So that let's yeah. see how it goes. So before that, let me say, you know, uh, what exactly fear is, right? So what is fear to you? Uh, you know, I have studied this fear topic uh, in, in, in my way, uh, and that is fear is a movie, right? The first thing is a movie, right? You get me? It's a movie. And the movie runs inside where? Where is the theater? The theater hall is your mind's eye, right? The movie runs in a theater and your theater is your mind's eye. And the movie 
And who is the character? You. You the center character. Who is watching? You. So you see, you watching your own creation and your own reflection of your thoughts. You see this? Watch me and, 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 and ask me. You watch it. You watching your own creation, which is a thought. <laughs> and you watching where? You watching in the movie theater, your own production. And then, oh, what's going to happen? No, no, no. No, I can't. And then you're deciding, you're acting. You know, you watch my body, your body is shivering, right? No, I can't. No, I don't. No, I don't have. No, I have an ability. Where is going? Again, inside your chattering voice. Now the chattering voice observing the movie, your mind, and giving the signal in your body and your, your mind, your chattering voice is saying, no, oh my God, shit, you're lost, damn, gone. You see, you observing your thoughts, watching, dancing, that's what Catherine was saying it, remember, she was saying, observe, watch it, talk to it. Hey, what do you want? What's happening? What's your objective? So what's there, you know, you interact. So the more you interact with passers by, you see, uh, the people who are walking behind you. If, you, if you're afraid, one thing you can run by, right? You can start running, running, and, and, and hiding, right? This is one way. Because somebody running started to walk behind, beside you, right? But other thing is, hey, hey, how are you doing, man? What's happening? What's up, bro? So you see, let's try, let's, let's talk, right? Let's get to know, let's observe. And the, my, the man was, was beside you, you're thinking he's going to stab you, right? Chaku ni ase, je chaku ta mere dibe. I'm speaking some Bangla, Catherine, bear with me. So mere dibe. So you are thinking, and when you're talking to that guy, no, he's not a miscreant, right? Tara the churi nai, chaku nai, she apna ki chaku mara jonno washa nai. You're just going. That means the thought ta paashe te jatche lo, ar apni mone kore chen je, ee manush ta, ta apne pocket marve, apne ke mere felve. So that is a thought. When you interact, when you observe, you observe, and then you see, okay, Okay, you let it go. Don't give attention. So this is my way of interpretation if it helps because the little bit I have understood and I'm addressing some of my uh, you know, you know, customers and clients in addressing this. So in this point, Katharina, we want to have a real people, right? To have the conversation, to deal with who could be that. It's a like, you know, let's, think, let's see how it goes. And then after this 10 minutes of real conversation, how you feel about the fear? So raise your hand if you want to come to the spotlight. We're not going to charge you, that's for sure. <laughs> so be open, right? Uh, Mr. Robio Sunny raised your hand, okay? Okay, computer ji, computer mahasha, Robio Sunny ke shamne niya show bhai. Baki da bolte vallam na hindi ta. Bangla te boli. So please bring Mr. Robio Sunny to the screen. Okay. Team, Mr. Rabiu Sunny. Yes, here it is, Mr. Rabiu Sunny. Welcome to fear mongering Welcome. world. Thank so we you. We have to deal with fear, but yeah. uh, I mean, be sure that it's not going to kill you, right? It's not going to do any harm. <laughs> Are you confident? Abion, I'm Abion confident Abion. with little little bit nervousness. All what right, let's give it a clap. One, two, so three. So you are already in the fear situation. It's very good. <laughs> All right. So tell us, what's your fear? Uh, what do you fear about most? Basically, um, two points I wanted to bring it up. One is when, uh, when I foresee that I'm going to talk uh, in front of some audience, to whom I really have no any interaction earlier. It's a very unknown to me. I start keep sweating. Uh, what I should say, something probably maybe going to be wrong. You know, this is related to a public speaking. The second point I normally face it. The second, another issue is it's related to my uh, job, uh, related to my career. So, you know, in my working life, 
lot of financial uh, claim issue I need to settle out. It's even more than even million over million years. So when I encounter encounter with a big claim issue, I keep start sweating again. How I going to settle this amount of money? Uh, I'm in nervousness and I lost confidence. I start keep sweating. I even um, uh, uh, the general outcome, what I supposed to gain from any situation, when I start keep sweating, I start keep nervous, getting nervous. Then I start feeling that probably uh, this is my thought that maybe I'm not going to get the adequate level of output in the normal situation, what I expect for. So this is basically these two kinds of situation I normally face in, in terms of fairness. Amazing. Wonderful. Yeah. Brilliant. So one is the public speaking with audience. How did Mr. Robuson spoke in front of you? Did you see him sweating? Did you see Not him at shaking? all. He is very much confident. Yeah. He seems very much confident. <laughs> see? So no need coaching. All right. They're joking. Okay. So this is one thing. And the second thing is, well, checking back your accounting, right? And I'm just trying to make sure what you said and what I heard is correct. So, so when you go back to reconciliation, your accounting, right? You get- you know, uh, No, it's not really accounting. You know, uh, I'm a, uh, I work in a multinational company for fabric sourcing through South right. Asia region. You know, there is a lot of, since this is a purchasing department, a lot of financial issues are here. Financial, right. Uh, yeah. So uh, there financial. is, a, in, in many cases, I had to settle a lot of claim issue with my suppliers, Correct. with my vendors. So sometimes, it's you know, it's- this is payment. That means I term it as accounting because you want okay, to, you okay, to pay. Got it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. accounting. So the, a lot of payment has been accumulated, right? And end of the day, uh, sometime you have to make sure these are correct, right? And your yeah. fear is whether it's going to be correct or not. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Okay. All right, Katharina. So how do you want to address this? Okay. So public speaking, first thing, I was, I would say the worst person in public speaking <laughs> when I was even in a small group I couldn't open my mouth I had so much fear and actually I was an ambassador for and this is why we met also um uh, Kamul and I I was an ambassador from one for the biggest uh, speaking school in the world for two years and <laughs> I have watched so many people turning their fear into opportunity in speaking. The point was actually what it was step by step doing it anyway, having the Correct. fear doing it anyway, and then allowing myself to be a little bit stupid is a very important thing. So being a little bit like, you know, not a perfect styled, like today I'm very natural, you know, because I'm just me. <clears throat> but in the beginning, I, it needs, everything needs to be perfect. <laughs> <clears throat> to be un, just unperfect, to extra be a little bit unperfect. Is, and then watch this unperfect you and being okay with this makes you getting over it. So because actually we, we fear something again, we fear other people will judge us and say, you're stupid, what are you doing? What, you know, we fear that someone else is telling us how stupid we are. <laughs> and, uh, uh, public speaking is the number one fear in the world. Right. Most of the and people this is good to in have. the world have this. This is good to have. And this is a must have. And you overcome it so that there is nothing left. Like I have really no, hmm. <laughs> there's no fear coming up. I don't know where to go okay. anywhere. So you can, by doing it anyway and being crazy and feeling the things and just detaching from this. And I think this is the most important thing to detach from your own feeling. Yeah. Having this, experience yourself with this, 
with this fear feeling, but detach from it and do it anyway. Correct. So let me take you uh, in a two minute step. All right, Mr. Rabiu Sani. So, yeah. uh, where are you? I can't see you. Is that bad? Okay. Back so, thing is, just close your eyes. Can you close your eyes? Take a deep breath. Close your eyes. Just close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Breathe in peace, happiness, and let go of the fear. And just, just watch it. Your fear is going out. Just watch it. Just watch. Just see that fear is going out. Flying, flying. All right, now, now imagine that you are in a place where 1,000 people are waiting for you. Just see it, nod your head when you see it. Nod your head when you see it. Just see that, right? See that, just see that. That's not when you see really. Thousands of people are now clapping. Thousands of people are now clapping to welcome you on the stage, right? Can you see that? All right, that is a podium. He's just waiting there, right? Go and stand to the podium. Go and stand to the podium. And look around all the people. Just look at glance. Don't look to the people's eye. Look at the glance over to the head head. Every people are watching and observing. Just have a glance. Have a glance. Have a glance. Have a glance. And now the shoulder up, shin up. Now the way you are sitting right now, a bit shoulder up, right? Shin up and shin up. And then hold the dias and look at the in front and say what you want to say in 30 seconds in a mind's eye. Say what you want to say. And then oh, you will yeah. Yeah, sorry, and then you will observe everybody are clapping. Everybody clapping. Now you say what you want to say in 30 seconds. So you're looking me to say in 30 seconds, right? Right, in a mind's eye. Oh, in mind's eye, okay. Okay. If you are if you are now brave enough, you can speak it now. We want to listen. All right. We want to listen. Imagine thousand people waiting for you. Okay. Anything that you want to talk about? Uh, I can talk about by myself uh, to introduce. Please. Yeah. Right. Sure. My name is uh, my name is Robio Sunny. Mm, I'm a, a sourcing specialist in textile industry. I'm working in a multinational company for more than fourteen years. Currently, I'm working as a fabric manager responsible to source fabric throughout South Asia region uh, from India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. I'm currently responsible more than 34 million years business in a year and uh, total value is uh, around 75, more than 75 million US dollar. Um, that's it, it's, <laughs> I believe it's 36. Amazing, over. yeah, yeah, good. It's good. wonderful. Now, now still, you see, the, let me close this uh, part, like when you, when you observe you, you are speaking, and you see people are giving you very, very, very round of applause, and also giving you a standing ovation. You just watch it, watch it in your mind, right? You see it, you close your speech. Now people are so engrossed, they're appreciating, they're very happy, and they are giving you a standing ovation, right? And you see it, you see it. See that, feel that, see that, feel that. Now tell your mind, yes, you did it very well. Tell it, bring up your yes, hand, you, right? Yeah. Bring up your hand like this. Okay, I did it very well. I am awesome. I did it very well. I will do very well next time. Very well next time. Yes, put it. Yes. One, two, three. Yes, I did it. Yes, yes. I did it. Yes, right. How, I did it. Yeah. Thank you. How do you feel now in terms of inner confidence? Yeah, better. It's better, definitely. It's releasing some, <laughs> some of the fairness for sure. Uh, however, you know, uh, it will be based with the practice basically but uh, Correct. the way you have started um, this uh, this demo that something uh, something is unique especially for me probably i was not aware on this that is why it's unique uh, i start with big breath in and out that is mm. gives you some positive energy mm. so uh, i heard this but you know when each time i start talking with um, with new audience, sometimes I forget this. Uh, so uh, that we uh, that we need to be habitual with this. It's I believe that uh, um, uh, this is a very start uh, tactics mm. to start with in front of any public speaking. Absolutely, it's just giving the mind the orientation, yeah. right? Yeah. I am yeah. going to yeah. speak. I'm speaking, and everybody clapping. Yes, you know, everybody clapping, everybody appreciating. When you give this confidence, it's a confidence is a key. Your body will stand still. Otherwise, mm. 
<laughs> true, <laughs> true. First is your body, your, your gesture, your posture. Yes, I'm here to, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to say something, right? Shit, doesn't matter. I'm here to say something, right? Give this, transmit this confidence. Shit up, shoulder up. That's the first thing, right? And then say what you want to say. The giving this bodily orientation is the first thing. And then the, the mental conditioning, the second thing. And then, then the visualization, the next thing. And feeling and believing, believing. That's what Catherine says, feel and believe. People are giving you clap. So do this, this is 50%. And then mirroring and practicing, right? Mm -hmm. So hope yeah. you know this process will help you. Then there are practical things which we'll talk about when we do the life, you know, extensive coaching. But that's for the 10 minutes. Audience, what do you see? Thank you. Any question on that? Rabi Sunny, any question on that? Anything? No, nothing from my side. I'm clear. Thank you so okay. much. Uh, for Thank you. Giving, me Give a, big a, giving a big hand, right? Let's, let's appreciate. Yeah. Mr. Rabi Sunny did very well. Very well. Isn't it, Katharina? Thank what you. do you think? Yes, wonderful. Very, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Since we have a short time, right? This is how the demo. So thank you, Mr. Rabiu Sunny. We can remove the spot. Yeah. Thanks, uh, from Rabiu Thanks, Sunny. Sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Anybody? Anybody else wants to an experience anything? Any question, comments on that? Right. We have doctor here, Doctor Fedo Akhtar, ma'am. Thank you and welcome to our program. So, what do you think about in medical science and everything? Anybody? Any question? Anything? Well, uh, I want to share uh, my own fair removing technique, if you if you allow. Should I? Sure. Please introduce yourself. Come okay. to the spot. Allow us. So, <laughs> so this is uh, Fateh Nazmul Islam. Uh, I'm the sales training manager for Nestle Bangladesh Limited. So uh, sometimes I, I use this technique to overcome my fear. And that is, you know, uh, in our job, <clears throat> we, we always have some deadline. We have something to complete. We have some presentation. We have some, uh, sometimes we have to, you know, brief our uh, line managers uh, some, on something. So sometimes uh, fear may come whether I can complete uh, the task in time or whether uh, I can give the uh, required uh, uh, a status update on the particular topic. So in those times, uh, when I feel uh, sometimes uh, fear or something like this, I just consider one thing that is, uh, will it kill me? If I, if I don't uh, uh, complete this task in time, uh, will it kill me? Or if I uh, couldn't complete the task uh, in time, uh, will it end my life? This single question helps me a lot. Uh, I find that it will not kill me. It will be barely some, you know, uh, I may have to face little uh, problem or uh, something else, but it will not kill me. So did give us a great relax. Okay, chill. Uh, I can handle it. Okay. So this is my own uh, own fear uh, removing technique. Absolutely. You know, you know what I did? I appreciate your sharing. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know what I did to Rabi Sunny? I did this in emotionally by breathing. You know, by breathing and by breathing, I relaxes. You know, he relaxes muscle. And the, you know, you did your affirmation, right? You did question and affirmation, and I did his relaxation. You know, nerve. So I did straight to the to his nerve. Let go and relax, right? right. So this is and because it depends, right? It both the way is very powerful. Yes. Uh, There's uh, one more thing I would like to share if you allow. That is, uh, sometimes uh, I think you have just done this. Uh, I also do it in a different way. That is, uh, sometimes I just visualize the best picture of myself. Okay. Right. When, for example, there is a presentation uh, for me, or there is a well, suppose there's a big uh, foreign delegate or something like them. So I have to do some presentation or something like. So then I I just visualize that my presentation will be the finest that uh, delegate will look at me and we, she, he will feel um, astonished uh, with my presentation. So I visualize all this thing. So that gives me some kind of confidence. Okay, this will, this are going to happen like this. But uh, obviously this also includes a solid preparation. In fact, uh, a solid preparation always gives us confidence and that uh, can help you to visualize in that positive way. So that also right. helps me. Right. Perfect. So in addition to that, like Katharina will say definitely, like whenever you are going to speak in places, right, 
you know what the uh, speaker does? They go in advance before the program to the venue. They go in advance before that day and observe and watch the entire places where they will speak, where the audience will sit, where they will look at everything. And they take every information possible. Who the people will come, this is number thing. If it's not possible to travel, have those images in advance, number one. Number two, who the people are coming, get oriented about them, get an orientation that their type, their color, you know, their positions, number two. Number three, be in advance before the meeting, go and have rapport. You know, talk to you know three, four, five people. Why? Strategically, have a better understanding with them. So whenever you're going to talk to them, you look at them and exchange the energy. Because if I talk to Mr. Nazmul Hassan, Islam, right, before the program, I feel confident. And yeah, I know, I just spoke with him, right? I just spoke with you a couple of minutes back. So I'm just looking at you. You see, I'm exchanging my confidence and coming up and displaying. So the, the moment you, this is called flow state, the moment you erupt your flow from exchanging the fear zone to you know comfort zone, you know by exchanging the moment your body responds positively and it starts flowing, flowing and flowing and naturally. Then you don't look. Actually, the th fifth tip is actually while well, speaking, you, know, you should avoid looking directly sometimes to the people's side. You know sometimes just have a glance to just above this, above this above this forehead so that. Every, everybody thinks you're looking at him or her, but you're not, right? Because sometimes looking at people's eyes can stop you. You might go frozen. You might lost oh, what to say. This is hypnotic. Even if it is somebody trying to intentionally irritate you, hmm? your mind, command your mind. Next. Next. Don't look at it, right? Don't go and bargain. So remove it because this can jeopardize your entire preparation. Let me tell you, entire day can jeopardize. Yes, over to Katharina, please. So one thing what was coming up inside of me while you were talking as well is another, so um, is an analogy to understand fear. Um, when you have a race, sport race, people are trained so the people who are driving this race car are trained in the mind to always focus on the goal because you are driving with a huge, uh, how do you say, with a huge speed directly into a wall. If you wouldn't be trained to focus on your goal, you are just in the wall. You hit the wall. And the point is, in life, we have so often, we are facing fears or fears are coming up. And then we are with full speed into the wall because we are focusing on what was, was giving us fear instead of where we want to go. So this is maybe one very important thing to remember whatever happens to you when you have fear you know this is how in right now the newspaper and everything is working with us is making a lot of fear so that everybody is watching it and driving into the wall instead of that's a pandemic where, right exactly the pandemic in in, fear, right? uh, in instead of what do you what is your direction and where do you want to focus on and focus on this <laughs> this is very difficult this is like a real training this is like sport and being kind to yourself because when you start muscle up you don't go today into the gym and come out tomorrow with big muscles you have to train this and this is training your mind with fears so when fears is coming up whether it is the pandemic whether it is having no money whatever is not focusing what you have fear from because our normal 
thing is that we feel like, oh, when we focus exactly what we have fear, maybe we have a grip on the fear. But yet, exactly the opposite is happening. When you are focusing your fear, you are attracting fear, exactly where you have the fear from. And when you are in this moment really focusing on what is your life purpose? What do you really want to have in your life? And you go exactly the other way around. So in a time where we have like shutdown or lockdown, where we can't move even, going into what is what I really want to do in my life and working on your goal and already like you did with the audience before or all these things in your mind create your life how how your rich beautiful life looks like and feel it and be it and live there this is the best the way to overcome everything in life and ex especially also something like the pandemic and this is like focusing on your goal instead of the fear with the f when you focus on the fear you are attracting the fear when you are focusing your goal you are attracting your goal so Correct. be very conscious on this point Correct. <laughs> Correct. yeah focus you know uh, in my session i actually you know share the focus on the process outcome will be taken care of if we do every process correct the outcome cannot cannot go wrong you know outcome cannot be missed if we are not focusing on the process, that means step one, two, three, four, five. If we are not following, if we jump into step six, Ma, and expecting Ma. result, we can't. Hello, right. yeah. Yes, hello, Moni. Welcome. No problem. Hi, so, that's okay. So Hi. children is part of life. So focusing on the process, so the outcome will be taken care of. That's the one liner. So always focus oh. on the process. The speaking, while speaking, the process is... The process is, on speaking is you are occupying the stage, you know, you are transferring your energy and you are trying to convey your message through your, you know, not only the word, but also the bodily language, tonalities, the voice, intonation and beating, right? There are different messages conveying through different elements, right? So this is the process of, uh, you know, delivering good speech. So before we close, any other question, comments from any one of you? And a lot of people are watching and observing. And also, I would the, like the, please. to say something to this, uh, Kamul, as well, because it's very important. Um, when you focus your goal, you have to focus your goal and not how to reach it. There, it is the opposite, because the how is up to the universe. You have only to have a clear goal. Correct. In this, and how is point, not our objective? This, yes, exactly. Because that we don't mix it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As I wanted Correct. to. Yeah, yeah. It's very That's important why I say the because, process because the result. Because, yeah, and the 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 pres it's it's like being already like having your result already inside of you because I'm a master of creating things from within. And this is, you have to have it already as if it is reality. And the how Correct. is just not to care about. Yeah. Right. Just to, so any more to... questions and comments on, on fear? Anybody wants to share anything? Very, very, very good evening and happy evening. I am Jackie here. I have a question. Can I ask? Yes, please. Okay, I want to uh, understand uh, the difference uh, between phobia and fear. Like if someone have height phobia, someone may have water phobia, uh, something like that. So is it, can we call phobia also a fear? The second one, how fear is important to be in life, to make ourselves aware, how it is important? Hmm. Thank you very much. Okay, okay. Katharina, then I'll add. Okay. Mm. And the next so, question would come from Chapa Mandal, right? The next serial. Mm. Okay. There are different kinds of fears. So we have, we have, and this is sometimes not, there can be traumas. There can be traumas also, maybe from past life. 
whatever you believe. There can be traumas from your, even your ancestors that are still in your cells, in your body. And there can be collective fears that we pick up as well. And there can be, so even what, what you were saying, it, 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 a phobia can be, can be a real trauma inside of you from a, an experience what you have had as a tiny child. And it sits in your cells. And there you need also a different kind of technique to go much deeper to reveal something like this. Does this answer your question? Yeah, I, I thank you very much. Thank you. And I think Kamal Bhai wants to add something. I mean, uh, I think... Right. So, you, know, you see, whatever you, you add as the name, my message is we are attached with the meaning with internally. Right? Every word has a meaning for every people inside. So, I don't know what it is trauma to you, what it is phobia to you, you know. What resonates inside you when it's a trauma? There are certain things resonate you within you. I don't know, right? There are certain things which is fear resonates you. I don't know. But if I can understand the basic thing is over fear comes from overthinking and imagining something in advance, right? And trauma, which is like uh, I have experienced something in my past, which has caused me, right? Which has caused me some wounds inside from the past, right? So it is past and something is in front. You see, the past, we need to heal. We need to let go, right? This is the past. And the front, we need to embrace it. You see, watch and observe the shadow. Both, we also can heal watching and observing. And also, there are some deep process also, you know, maybe making it ash, burning it, or also loving it, taking care of it. It depends on what relationship caused the trauma, which is past. What is actually coming to you as a fear? Two different things. So there are two different techniques. Either you deal with care, either or you burn it, ash it, and remove it. Right? So you can trash it. So the, the more you remove it, it's, it's a mental process. You know, I, I, uh, I, you know, in my mind program lesson, sometime, you know, in some courses I will share this. But there is a way of dealing it neuro neurologically. You know, some loved ones you might there might be giving you some trauma. From society might have some wounds. Now again, here Rumi says, uh, because I'm passionate also, you know, learning spirituality and practicing it. Rumi says, where wounds is, lights come to you in your heart. If you don't have any wounds, right, you don't really reflect the life. What's and then again he says, it is trying to teach you. Until you get the lesson, it will come to you, and thereby the fear, fear. He said, you know, pain delivers a message. So thereby, if you are not listening to the message, suffering is a choice. Because you're not dealing, you're not listening. What it is trying to tell you? You see this in, in a short. Hope that answers your question. Uh, thank you very much. I have the second okay. part of the question that how it is important fear to, to carry, like uh, for a safety reason, for any other reason, it is, is it, is it good to have fear? Of course, of course. You see, in a while we are walking, you see, some car is coming to you, right? And reflection of your mind. So it will save you. And that's how our mind is programmed. That is the nature of your brain. Of our brain releases this, uh, the chemical or body reflex. So definitely this is important. But this is not important to kill your potentiality, right? So that's negative way of uses, like a knife. The doctor uses it versus a knife, like thief, a dakat uses it, right? <laughs> or a miscreant uses it. There's a difference between it. Uses, that's the uses. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, because why I call phobia, uh, I have a high phobia. So once mm -hmm. I was in Singapore and I tried to jump from a very high height. So it's not a fear. It's a, I found how it's I phobia. phobia. So, so that's why I asking uh, mm. why, what is the difference between phobia and fear? Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Karen. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Tapa Thank Mandal, you. please. The last question will be taking from Tapa Mandal because we have another session at, for the pen members. 
so at like chapa mandal place yes well i think i am very junior here <laughs> everybody is here not a problem please feel free so you have a voice well, share it well i just want to say first uh, what is fear to me i think uh, for example uh, this is this is an online session english session so uh, what is fear to me is my inability inability not being perfect not being expert or not being totally skilled on the fact that is required for example this is an english session and i have to talk in english here but i think i i always think i have to be totally perfect in speaking english is it is my thinking is right or not because i always fear about that if i can't make it and then uh, everybody will tell me i'm unable so actually i have this fear and this is fear to me uh, that my inability to uh, make it i would say this is just a Got completely yeah, normal please. fear is this is a completely normal fear and it's hmm. just not a not one second to listen about so how <laughs> can i overcome it okay, by so can i can i tell a story uh, the steve yes, jobs please, please. Uh, you know if you if you go through his life he said the fear of heaviness the the fear of heavy weight success duty that i must be successful was literally troubling him and then he ousted from his own company and then he said and this happiness reduced his fear i oh, know if i am not successful what will happen this helped him to become more successful because you have to let go that's the message right you don't think you have to be perfect so what this is the most challenging thing if you allow yourself to be humiliated to be vulnerable let it be let people be mockery right that's a must have to build once you once you accept it you know you will see you're responding well your muscle is normal you know you you relax and then you can speak well too the more you pressure you tight right your body your 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 nerve is not performing so that's scientifically because where why we have all the ideas in the washroom all the ideas all in the nature right because we're relaxing we're enjoying not pressurizing correct me if i'm wrong yes actually i already have experienced it because this is my first public speaking experience and already i am very much inspired actually thank you yes perfect you did it very well isn't it katrina and everyone yes. hi congratulations hi smile is inspiring me so much hi smile is inspiring me your speaking katrina really great my smile is very, inspiring very right. thank you thank you so wonderful much. thank you so much thank you <laughs> Thank you. So Catherine Thank anything you, you want to say up. before you close right? And uh, before this I Kamrul before we close the whole hmm. session right so any message that you want to deliver in a couple of minutes So actually overcoming your fear is really focusing on what you really want in life so having really clear what is your real life purpose what is it what you really love what is really you what is what you really want to unfold in this lifetime for you what is the real value you have what is your value you have and living by this is for these times crucial and really really important and for this actually i have i can shall i say something about the gift yes How please you want to say please 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 sena so we have to keep it for the pen members for the for our community member so mm -hmm. those are pen member we want to give a special gift yes please announce so uh, we have actually um, or i have created an online course where you 
can create how you create a tiny movie or a movie where you exactly get into reality what is your dream what is your real something you really love and would like to do or be very proud of yourself and and this is a gift for all the people who are joining you get this course for free and with this right. this is so a very very powerful tool because when you see your life already what you are you you know your goal really as a movie you get really the feeling of you are living it already and this is creating exactly the life you want to live it is really literally creating the life you want to live and this is the best tool when you have this in the moment when you have fear in front of you and you watch your movie and you turn like the race car driver into your goal and not to the fear is the best tool you can have in life thank you thank you so much katrina yes uh, thank you for the gift this is katrina's one of uh, you know course that she has created so we want to give you as a gift this is uh, 45 euro so we 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 have decided for the pen members uh, because we uh, we want to know how to give it so those are coming to this and we will give you and we'll we'll take you through how to actually activate this course and how to take benefit out of this and create your life and yes fear uh, is good if you know how to channel it if you don't know how to channel it it's, it's dangerous it's killing the potential and it's killing the performance so that's in a nutshell and everything in this world is happening perfectly whatever it is and how it is right so there is nothing called i mean uh, you know uh, disharmony because the god the almighty the creator he knows the best and and that's best is always happening for you it's, uh, it's all about channeling the right energy and intention it and then open it and then you will have the, to the next level of your life and until then everyone stay well stay blessed and take a good good care of yourself and katrina thank you so much for your time and your your time and helping us guiding us and giving us your valuable gift as well we wish you the best health thank you i'm very happy to be here and to also have all these beautiful conversation with different people and it's there's nothing more beautiful than much people who start to step into their power and be Absolutely. really who they really are <laughs> Absolutely thank you give a thank big hand please to Katharina give a big hand and applause to Katharina so that we thank appreciate you. our guest for for the time and hope you have enjoyed the session hope you have got something did you get something uh, did you find it a little bit useful to address and to deal with your fear and uncertainty and uh, how to move forward i hope and believe certainly you did said something right thank you thank you what a wonderful audience you have been and you are right and and that's how we are to close out tonight because we are now ready to jump into a 9 pm session with pen members so thank you so much those who don't know what is pen pen is personal excellence and networking community and we welcome you to to know about it thank you so much everyone stay blessed stay healthy good night thank you thank, thank you. you thank, thank you, you. Thank you.